Let us match the graph of a rational function with one of these four rational functions on the left. Now from the graph we can see that there are one, two vertical asymptotes. So two vertical asymptotes. We can also see another asymptote here which is a straight line. So y is equal to ax plus b is an asymptote. And that is because the graph of this function approaches a line for x getting very large and the same line for x getting very small. What else have we got? I can see an intercept with a y-axis which is positive and I can also see one two, three intercepts with the x-axis. Two of them negative and one positive. So let's see if this is enough to identify which of these four functions produced this graph. Now we had two vertical asymptotes. The first function has three because we're dividing by three different factors. That means we can exclude this one. Looking at the other asymptote, y equals ax plus b, we have an asymptote of this form, which is a line or a linear function, if the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. And the difference of these two degrees has to be 1. So let's have a look. Number 2, we've got degree 3 divided by degree 3, so it can't be number 2. We can exclude number 2. Number 3, we've got deg degree 3 divided by degree 2, it could be number 3. And we've got degree 3 divided by degree 2 and number 4 as well. So it could be number 3 or number 4. Now let's have a look at the intercepts with the x-axis. I can see three intercepts in function 3. And they are minus 1, minus 2 and 0. Now let's have a look. The graph doesn't actually show 0 as an x-axis intercept. If it was, then we would go through the point 0, 0, but the graph actually goes to the point 0 and a positive value. So this means it can't be number 3. Let's have a quick look at number 4. If the two vertical asymptotes are produced by x minus 2 and x plus 3 in the denominator here, then that means that this needs to be 2 and this needs to be negative 3. So in between we would probably have something like negative 2 here. This is one of the intersections with the x-axis. Negative 1 here and this would be 1. So let's have a look. The numerator tells us that negative 1, negative 2 and 1 are x-axis intercepts. So that's worked out nicely with this graph. From this we can gather that number 4 is most likely the function that produced this graph.